According to the Talmud, the mezuzah is placed on the doorpost to protect our homes from mezikin, evil spirits and other unpleasant harmful entities. Therefore, the rabbis instructed that when a person moves out, he should leave the mezuzah to keep the house protected. If the new tenant is not Jewish, the mezuzah may be removed to prevent it from accidentally being mishandled. Even people who do not believe in evil spirits and see the mezuzah either as a constant reminder of God's presence in the house or as a sign of Jewish identity, are still expected to leave the mezuzah. But what if the mezuzah is expensive or has sentimental value? Many couples I've married use the shards of the broken glass from their wedding to create a mezuzah for their home. They certainly want to take it with them. In this case, one is allowed to replace the special mezuzah with a standard one. Originally in the Torah, mezuzah meant the doorpost of the house. In later generations, people made an indentation on the doorpost to place a cloth, a parchment, and call it a mezuzah. And now mezuzah refers to the case that is placed over the parchment to protect it. See you next time.